Oh, is that a bit too zoomed in? I can't <laughs> It's very like... I don't know. <laughs> Where are your glasses? <laughs> Just quickly fit them. I'm not of a pair here. You're going to have to put this out. <laughs> that's fine, isn't it? Okay, that's okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't want this taking ages. Alright. Hi guys, welcome back to my... <laughs> okay, sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm joined with my mum and we are going to be answering your unpopular opinions. So... Let me turn that off. So the first one is that Friends, the TV show, is overrated. No, it's funny. I know, but there is a massive hype over it. Like, it's really funny though. Okay. Right, going out in your pyjamas is acceptable. Only on one day of the year. New Year's Day, if you're going to the shop to get milk and bread and bacon. Yeah, but <laughs> it depends what you class as pajamas. Because if you my pajamas are more like joggers and. Well, that's it, not pajamas. Pajamas is pajamas. They look like pajamas, okay. and it's only acceptable New Year's Day morning. <laughs> Socks and sliders. <laughs> <laughs> not acceptable. Yeah, but I do that all the time. It's like if I'm nipping out the front door, yeah, to go to the bin. No, but like I'm I, not walking down the high street. Like in, in summer, and you know when I've got to go to Sainsbury's or something, I'm just chuck them on. Why have you not got? Why have you got socks on though? I always have socks on. And yeah, like if if or. You know, like even now, if I've got to post something to a, a neighbour or something, I'll just chuck if them you're, on. If you're literally doing a few second walk to the bins <laughs> or to next door, fine. And Henry obviously wears them in the car instead of his football boots to and from matches. That's fine. Other than that, no. It's like wearing, it's like wearing socks with flip-flops. You don't do it. <laughs> okay, so someone said Chinese is gross. Chinese food? Yeah. You're delusional. You just need to try our Chinese. Come to Yangtze and you won't think that anymore. Fruit juice with bits should be illegal. No. Best thing for you. It is quite It's more healthy. What are you doing? Maddie, you just had something come from your phone saying Maddie SJL teams meeting. Okay. PDA is gross. What's PDA? Public displays of affection. No! Yeah but, uh, yeah, but this is like, you know, people being like... Full on snobby. Yeah. yeah. Like the old pet, you know, the old peck or holding hands or cuddle is okay, but it's like, it's like when people are, you know, if you're walking through the park and there's a couple on the bench and they're literally like, it's almost like, get a room. Yeah, no, no, no. But... If you're in the corner of a nightclub. Oh, um, yeah, you get away with a lot in a nightclub. Not me! <laughs> but otherwise, yeah. Holding hands, pecking fine, eating your face now. Eating your face. Okay. Next one Star Wars and Harry Potter are overrated. No. I disagree massively. I love Harry Potter. I think I could watch them all over and over. I really like them. Star Wars, I like the one where Anakin's younger. So like the technically the first three but they're not the first three. What's for dinner and when is it? Salmon. I'm yeah, when is it? I'm starving. Half past six. Oh, 
Can you please go away? Because the longer you disturb us, the longer we're going to be. Not get to know it's an hour. Go for banana. It might be earlier. It's all right, me and Henry pop a night. See you later. Bye. Let's go get Nando's. Okay. So, Star Wars and Harry Potter are definitely not overrated. Yep. I love them both. I think they're good. I do think, I don't know, with the Star Wars, they're obviously dragging it out a bit now. Because they're obviously making the new ones, like the Rogue One and everything. Yeah. But they're still really good. So someone put mayo on Chinese food. No. I hate mayo as it is. You don't put anything on Chinese food. No. Chinese food has flavour. You don't need anything. Apart from hoisin sauce That's on duck wrap. So, I'm sorry, but I think you need to go and talk to someone because that's not nice. Okay, boys and girls can't be friends without one person catching feelings. Yes, they can. I do think that. I, I think it depends on age and situations and circumstances because... If you spend a lot of the time, if you spend a lot of time with one person, you almost are just gonna catch feelings. I, th I, I don't know. Cause, but then I've got a lot of guy, fr I've got probably got more guy friends than I have girlfriends. Mm. And as much as like, I love them, I would never go anywhere near them. It'd be weird. It'd be, yeah, ew. no offense. <laughs> um, Girls need to shave. Yeah. So you don't think that girls should not, like, girls should have to shave? No, they don't. Everyone can do what they want, but I think it's not very nice to see girls with armpit hair. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, a lot of people are doing this, oh, it's empowering and everything, and... If you're one of them, fine. But I personally, if I see it, I don't. But it's then again, I don't like a really, really hairy man. Like, if they've got hair everywhere, it's a bit like, ooh. Mm. Uh, yeah, they're each to their own. But yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't no shave right for anyone. No. But, okay, sleeveless jumpers. Tank tops. No, so you know that black one I got? And you said I look like someone from the 70s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, so they're really in, with like a white shirt underneath and stuff like that. Yeah, that's your generation then. You, so you wouldn't wear one? No. <laughs> okay, if a boy doesn't want to keep the baby, he shouldn't have to pay child maintenance. I'm very in the middle with this one, because it depends on the circumstance. If... If the boy didn't want a baby, he shouldn't have got her pregnant. Yeah, but what if, if she's it was a meant simple mistake? Exactly, like, like with me and George, work. I'm I'm on the pill now, and f somehow it didn't work, and he really didn't want it because he couldn't afford it. His he wanted to focus on his career, but I did. That's my choice to keep yeah. it. If obviously you're just being silly and you know you're not on any contraception and you're not using a condom and it's just like oh we take the risk then he's, he's taking that risk. Yeah, he's 100% responsible. But if if there's, if you are taking the precautions and it still didn't happen, then I think there should be some sort of way because it almost isn't fair. Um, what are you going to say? But then it's not fair on the girl, on the girl. to have to pay for everything for a mistake that she hasn't made. Yeah, but then... Yeah, it's hard. That is a hard tricky one. one. Hopefully, we're never in that situation. Okay, girl code is fake. Date who you want. Girl code is. What do you mean, girl code? Is so, girl code would be that you know, if me and George broke up, Leah or Alicia or Jess couldn't get with George, because that's girl code. And I'm very much. I believe in girl code to a certain extent. So personally, I think it all depends on the situation. Like for example, my ex-boyfriend, as long as my friend was up front with me and didn't hide it, I wouldn't care if anyone got if anyone went out with him because I've moved on, I'm happy 
with my boyfriend it doesn't matter but then if obviously George broke up with me tomorrow and I found out he slept with one of my friends that's a bit different but then in a couple months time if they were in a situation where they started to get to know each other and they were up front with me and it wasn't just a thing a fling it was an actual like they actually started to really like each other then there's a difference I think you've got to take into consideration how old you are mm. how meaningful your relationship was in the first place oh yeah like if, if and how close that friend is because some friends are not friends they're just acquaintances or just fake and toxic and they are bye bye <laughs> <laughs> but like for example but obviously if one of your friends if you and dad split up and one of your friends got with dad that would be really wrong definitely because you've been married for too many years <laughs> whereas obviously my ex we were very young and it wasn't really a proper relationship and now if I, I just think as long as a certain amount of time has passed and you're that you've moved on you're happy you shouldn't have to you shouldn't stop someone from potentially finding their happiness mm -hmm. but I think yeah there needs to be a length of time money buys you happiness not necessarily, money just makes life a bit easier. I think money can't buy you happiness, but money makes you happy. But it depends, because obviously, if if you were homeless and had no money, you're not, I don't know, because I'm not homeless and don't have, but you're not necessarily going to be happy. But then you don't need millions and millions of pounds to be happy. No, you don't. It's what's in your heart and who you surround yourself with. That's what makes you happy. And money just helps. Money makes life easier. Because if you can go on a couple holidays. Well, it's not just that. If you can pay your bills and you can have food on your table and you surround yourself with good people and you're a good person, then you're as rich as the billionaire down the street. End of. Preach it. Okay, um, Boris has done a crap job with Covid. I disagree as well because I know I'm not really into politics, I don't understand it massively so I'm not going to try and pretend I do, but I think for anyone they were going to do a crap job or a crap job because no, we've, nev we've never had this before. It's unprecedented and no matter what he did, people would say he did a crap job. Yeah. There would be people for him, people against him. And, and even no if it wasn't him, if whoever else ran, I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. What. But if, it, if someone else was it, they would be getting the same hate and love. I think it's such a hard thing. I, I personally wouldn't know what I would, maybe might have done a couple things differently, but you don't know because you're not in that situation. No, I think he's, he's given the circumstances, he's done a good job and people are going to moan no matter what because their lives have been disruptive and they've lost people they love Yeah. and they've got to blame someone so he's an easy target to blame. If if he didn't do lock, if he did lock down too soon, people would moan. If he left it longer, people would moan. He can't do right for doing wrong. Yeah. Okay, people nowadays are too touchy. What do you mean touchy? So, as in you can't say anything without oh, it being wrong. The whole bloody world's going mad and soft. Yeah, I think, I think certain aspects of it are good. So, like, I think people are getting a lot more high on racism and inequality. That's good. Yeah, that's good. But though. at the same time, you can't say anything without someone getting offensive. Yes. It's crazy. You can't have a joke. It's even like in football, you watching when you watch a player tackle another player, and it ten years ago it would have been an amazing tackle. Now it's a red card and a free kick. It was balls and balls, and you've got and <laughs> technology. <laughs> no, but I just updated, so you've got you've got VAR and okay, maybe that was bad. Else. Else. <laughs> but I just mean yeah, just everything is. 
is so much is sugar coated and everyone's wrapped in bubble wrap now yeah. and I get because I can be quite sensitive sometimes but I do and yeah I do think people are too soft and there's snowflake I think is the word people are using yeah and this world's going to be full of them in 50 years time and then what's going to happen the world's going to go under <laughs> and right. I won't be here to <laughs> Res in fi oh yeah, I guess. In uh, respect is earned, no matter what age. Yeah, you've got to earn respect. You've got to give respect to earn respect. Yeah. See, I um, watched one of these videos, and they said you should always respect your elders, and I have to disagree because I think initially you should always you should respect everyone initially, but just because someone's older than you doesn't necessarily mean they're right they know more than you that's not what it means respect is respect no matter if they're right or wrong you still no, but have I mean, to show respect yeah but say like i've had i've had an older woman and she's spoken to me like rubbish for completely no reason and why should i then be like yes yes mom yes because you're rising above her you're not lowering yourself to her level but I don't respect her because she hasn't respected me. But you can still be respectful. That's not giving her the upper hand, that's giving you the upper hand. Mm. Next. <laughs> Boys can't have a girl best friend if they have a girlfriend. Boys can't have a girl best friend. Yeah, they can. Yeah. I agree. I saw um, I saw another video as well, and they said no, not like no, unless it was like an old family friend. But um, I think it depends on the circumstance. So my boyfriend has a girl best friend, and when we started going out, we, we me and the girl made effort with each other, and we became friends. So then I felt a lot more comfortable when them two were hanging out, and I didn't think anything was going on. I think if if the girl if the girl best friend puts in the effort then yes and if you know like from the beginning you know where each person stands then it's fine but then if you almost get a girl best friend in while you're in a relationship because like imagine if imagine if george met someone on a night out or something and a girl and became best friends with them it would make me feel a bit uncomfortable yeah, but you've got to trust him. Yeah, and I guess, if, and then if they made the effort with me, then it'd be different. I think it just depends on the effort each person is making. Yeah. Yeah. Um, plastic surgery. I don't agree with it unless it's for medical reasons maybe mental re you know to make someone's say if somebody a girl say is completely flat chested yeah. and they've got no self-esteem whatsoever yes fine otherwise no be natural be be natural it's so much more beautiful oh uh, yeah i agree i think I think it's so common in my age now. Like most, I think most of my friends have had like their lips done or something like that. And, and they all look the same. But yeah, I think yeah, I don't really have too much of an opinion on it. Like it's your body, do what you want. But you should try and go for the more natural, unless it's something like a friend of mine. She was quite. She she felt really insecure about her chest, and she's recently had her boobs done. And they aren't massive, they're just natural and they look really good. And it was just so she actually had a pair of boobs. She felt happy about herself. But um, yeah. but yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Can we just yeah. watch it back a little bit?